Hey, Super Mega Baseballers, Eric here. Um, this will not be a logo video, this is just a commentary video. I'm um, just doing some random gameplay here. Um, so this is about EA buying Metalhead, and I know that there's a lot of people thinking this is the death knell for Super Mega Baseball, and I think that what's getting lost is it's your gut reaction based on what EA Sports has done, and I know that they've burned us a ton. Madden has been a joke for about 15 years, for the most part. Um, even when NCAA football, which is like my favorite game, um, you know, they've kind of screwed us on that because that went through a lot of iterations of not a whole lot of change, and then all of a sudden, you know, they didn't really pair it up with Madden much very well, and now they screwed us. And there's a, a lot of, we, we have a lot of evidence that EA Sports screws up their sports games. But let's take a step back here and let's look at the situation. So the VP of um, EA Sports Sports Division um, actually was the one that f decided to try to do this merger. And he was the one that went and went to EA and said, hey, we need to, to look at the situation. If we, let's look at it, is EA hasn't had a baseball game in a while. Hasn't had a good baseball game in an even longer while. And then you see MLB The Show getting all this attention. To be honest, I don't understand why. I, I really think that The Show is a, it looks okay to some extent. Like I think they do a better job with animation in the stadiums you know, with um, player with fans, because if you sit there and watch SMB, you can see that it's repetitive stuff, okay? But it's not really meant for you to be sitting there watching that. While MLB The Show did, does a little bit more with it, I'll argue that, you know, when you look at how the outfields look in the show versus uh, SMB, SMB looks way better. I think that there's more depth to what goes on on the baseball field outside of the fence. In the show, it looks like a painting. In SMB, it looks like there's depth and there's stuff that's going on because there's animation of things that go on in the back. But I digress, let's get back to the, the topic. Um, so EA hasn't had a, a, a baseball game or even a good one for a long time. And so what happened was the the, um, the VP of uh, EA Sports was playing SMB3 with his kid. And he saw how much his kid loved the game and he actually quite enjoyed it. Saw the humor in it, the, the, the fun part about the great, the smoothness of it, you know, and just the pure arcade joy of this game. And that's what inspired him to try to go forward and say, hey, you know, maybe we need to um, you know, look at, you know, what else can we do to try to, to have a, a good baseball game? Because here is a good baseball game. And that's when they decided, hey, maybe this would be a good fit for us. Now, for Metalhead, let's be honest, they're a small little 13-person company that made arguably the best baseball game on the planet right now. And so, while we're, you know, we hold that very sacred, we love this game, and many of us have been playing since the very first Super Mega Baseball game, you know, we're like, we're worried. And, and we have every right to be worried because they've burned us, okay? But if you read the quote from their regional VP, or their, sorry, their senior VP, is that it is their goal to see how they can grow the game, okay? That, they're, that once the deal is once they finalize everything on the deal, is how can they give the resources to um, Metalhead so that they can continue to grow this game, which means probably more updates. I know they announced update seven, unfortunately. I wish they would have done that separately, but inside that announcement, they did say that a seventh update's coming, but they don't have details yet. Um, it would have been nice for them to, to separate that, but then it, you're hearing EA's committing money, okay? And they need more money if they need, if they're going to really grow this game and if they're really going to um, 
make future versions of it. And they did talk about the future of Super Mario Baseball. I think that's also why um, Metalhead's been a little standoffish in saying things. So they never talked about Super Mega Baseball 4. If you paid attention to all their releases, their press releases, um, they've never, they've never talked about the 4. They've kind of almost alluded to the fact that this might be the last one. Um, and I think because they might have known that something wasn't possibly in the works. Can you blame Metalhead for what they're doing? No. You have a chance to sit there and you got bought by another company. This means more money for everybody. This means more job security because now you've got a co big company behind you to help you out. What it means for us is potentially this game could get infinitely better because now they're going to have money behind them. As opposed to before where they had to kind of pick and choose what they wanted to do. They probably couldn't do everything that they wanted because of that. And so now, all of a sudden, hey, everything we've ever wanted to do in this game might be on the table. So why don't we, you know, look at this and say, hey, let's wait and see. Okay. We know that what this means is it's going to take a year at least for them to come up with a new game. And granted, what they'll do is, if you think about it, SMB3 is is really SMB2 beefed up a little bit, tweaked the graphics a little bit, adds, added some stadiums, other things like that. So think about what's the possibility. We could possibly be seeing 32 stadiums. We could possibly be seeing a stadium creator. These are things that are possible now that might not have been possible with what was going on. So, if you really, really think about it, ooh, Grand Slam, wow, not too bad. Um, but if you really, really think about it, this company had to pick and choose what they wanted to do. Because at this point, with the exception of microtransactions, anything they're adding to the game is their expense, as opposed to the microtransaction that's saying, hey, we can do a stadium creator, but you're going to have to pay for it, which I think we all would. All right, so let's just be patient, stay calm. Let's wait and hear what comes up. I understand that EA has screwed this, but let's hope that Metalhead has negotiated well enough that they're going to take this game and they're going to elevate it to another level. It's also talk that they're going to do other games, so who knows? I mean, we've all joked around that we would love to see a, a super mega hockey. Who wouldn't? I mean, that would be that could be pretty epic. Super mega football, you know, even basketball. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Or it lets them go with other games that they've been had in their mind that they want to do, not just a sports game. So let's just take a deep breath, you know, get off the brakes here and just say, hey, let's enjoy this really cool game, you know, for what it is. Worst comes to worst. If EA does screw up this game, we still have this one, right? This game won't go away. So that's the worst case scenario is that we are stuck, quote unquote, with this wonderful game that we all love and play tremendously. So guys, relax. It's early. We probably have, over the next couple months, we're probably going to start to hear what their, what the plan is and Let's wait till we hear what the plan is. And if we hear that EA is going to bring a bunch of people in and really do a lot of stuff, yeah, then then doom and gloom it. But until that happens, let's just sit there and enjoy what we've got. Know that we've got at least one more update coming right now. Wouldn't be surprised if they'd have more updates coming down the road. And say, hey, with all the money behind it, expect that we're going to pay 60 bucks or more for Super Mega Baseball 4. And I think that if we get most of what we want, and I know what we want is, we want, you know, less CPU, amazing two strike hitting, some more strikeouts pitching wise when we're playing at the higher levels. You know, we'd like some other modes. We'd like 32 stadiums. We'd love to have an all-star game. We'd love to have a Warrens, you know, maybe, you know, add another player to have better mind, have a better um, franchise system where we have to do contracts. But these are all things that take money to do. And if they're going to be able to have 
EA Sports going, all right, here's how much money we're going to give you. Go make a great game. No. Remember, EA Sports is the one that needs this. Metalhead didn't need this. You know, for longer term, yeah, it might help them, but they did not need EA Sports. EA Sports needed Metalhead. Let's remember that. All right? That's my two cents. Feel free to add yours, but let guys calm. Just stay calm. Let's wait and hear what's coming down the road. All right, thank you very much.